I live forever, I don't ever die Murder, murder, murder on my mind Line after line after line Time after time, I'ma thrive Push a button, then I start to drive Surf boy ripping through the tides What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Turk, and of course, I'm back with another video. Look, today's video was very deep very deep so i need you guys to be patient and pay attention because i got a lot of details to share with you guys i know i'm happy right now but this is an emotional video that i have to get off and um whew, without further ado let's start but first I just got the news that uh, Young Dolph has been shot and killed in his hometown of Memphis, Tennessee. Um, I'm not very familiar with his music. I do know who he is. I know a lot of people that listen to him. And um, I listen to him myself, but I wasn't a fan fan. But I just don't get why when a black man is winning especially when it comes to music artists why do us brothers hate on that person hate them enough to kill them i know what they say in the music and everybody's like oh it's everything he was rapping about but this is this is art it's artistry like people's gonna say things we don't sit there and kill denzel for playing the the fucking dirty cop on training day we don't do shit like that so why is music artists treated so different from actors i don't get it because that's what they're doing these guys are poets and we're, we're, we're killing them him and nipsey in their hometown it, it, it just doesn't make sense to me it doesn't make sense to me everybody's trying to make money and instead of you know asking him how he got on we sit there and we we kill them and what do we get from that like we don't get recognized we don't get clout um you don't get money you don't get knowledge <laughs> so it's like you're still stuck in the same spot broke with a gun but you just took somebody out that could have helped you so i just don't see what's the upside how do you win from that and that's that's my piece on that. To get to the video, I'm gonna try my best not to edit this video at all. I don't wanna touch it because this is real. This is not scripted. This is like coming from me and this pertains to what happened to me back in April. So April 7th is my boy JB's birthday. We celebrate his birthday every year. And before that day on April 6th is my little sister's birthday. We're not seeing eye to eye right now. So um, back in April, you know, everybody knows I, I work for the city and uh, I was suspended at this time. I was suspended from work and I was off. So I had nothing but free time. I had I was suspended for three days and um, I had some free time on my hands. At this point in time, I'm talking with a girl that uh, I have a past with, we was, I'm madly in love with and whatnot, you can say that. And uh, uh, we wasn't together, we wasn't official, but we was spending a lot of time together and I was trying to fix things that I broke before. So on this particular morning, you know, I'm free. I get dressed in the morning. It's a regular morning. I'm feeling good. There's nothing on my radar. If my radar's clear, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. And I hit her up, and I'm like, "Yo, let's let's do breakfast. That sounds good. I'm feeling like breakfast today." She says, "Okay. Before we do breakfast, can you bring me a coffee? Okay. Go to the coffee shop. Bring her a coffee. We ready to go to breakfast." We get into a little petty argument, and then I say, you know what, forget it. We ain't doing breakfast. You know, me, you know, any guy, I think. But um, I say, we're not doing breakfast. So we, we park not too far from her house, right? And we watch an episode of The Challenge on MTV. And if you know The Challenge, you know each episode is about an hour long. So we're sitting there, we're watching The Challenge, and... Um, there's about mm, there's about 10 minutes left in the show. Maybe less than that, right? 
but it's about three minutes before noon. She has a meeting at noon and I also have an interview. I have an interview over Zoom to coach um, high school flag football. Everybody know football is my life. So I want to coach kids and, and groom them to be better athletes than myself. So I'm getting ready for this interview and I know they're going to ask me personal questions about my past. Mind you, she knows, anybody who knows me personally knows about my personal issues. So they're going to ask me questions about my past, which she knows about, and I want to be comfortable answering them. And I ask her to get out the car or whatnot. She, she lives, we're right around the corner from her house she's literally 10 seconds from her front door so i say you know just go upstairs do your thing and come back down in about 10 minutes or i'll call you in 15 to let you know the interview went well and come back downstairs so now it's about 11 59 it's about to be noon my my interview is about to start she gets out the car so i have these three older white women that's on the Zoom call and they say, hey, are you who I am, Turk or whatnot? I say yes. And um, they're ready to start this interview. So they can't really hear me. So, you know, I kind of like adjust like my screen and take myself off mute. As soon as I take myself off mute, I kind of sit back in my chair and I'm waiting for the first question. Then I hear three pops. <laughs> And I'm, I, I kind of flinch. I was like, wow. I think that was gunshots or whatnot. Mind you, this is all happening so fast. Three pops. And it sounded like it was from the distance. Like, it sounded like it was muffled. Like, like somebody ran over, like, a bottle and the top popped off. And it sounded like it was from the distance. I kind of flinched a little bit because it was just so ex unexpected. I was like, wow, that sounded like gunshots. And I just look because this is the area it was coming from. And as soon as I turned my head, my whole window, my whole window fell on my lap. When my window fell on my lap, I look up at the screen and I see three white women look at me with their jaws dropped I look forward and I see a car and an arm like coming back into the window like slowly I swear it's happening in slow motion at this point the the pullback on the gun was stuck like as if it jammed or he used all his bullets mind you it was three shots for sure, for sure, it's three shots. So I'm assuming it jammed because I don't know of a gun that carries three shots. Luckily, if it was three shots or it jammed, I'm lucky. So my car is off at this point. I look at them and they say, are you okay? And I, before I could answer, I literally pat myself down like, I think I just got shot at. I think I just got shot at. So I start my car or whatnot. They go straight and I turn down the street and I just pull over and I take my phone off the thing. I put it in my pocket and I can still hear them in my pocket saying, are you okay? And I'm, I'm not screaming, but I'm saying loudly, I think I just got shot at. I'm running through somebody's backyard, hopping over fences at this point. Maybe two minutes goes by. I jump back over the fence and go back next to my car. Mind you, I left my, my cars parked crooked. The door is wide open. It doesn't matter because my window is shot down anyway. So I see the girl that I just told to go in the house 30 seconds ago. Not even a full minute. It was like 30 seconds ago. She. It looks like she has her keys still in the door didn't even make it upstairs yet and she looks at me like you're supposed to be in an interview she doesn't say this but she's she's kind of looking at me but she does say what just happened i'm like i just got shot at yo like mind you my eyes stay shaky but this day my eyes was boom like i'm wearing a black tee I'm wearing a black tee. I'm wearing my my blue sweatpants, the Adidas sweatpants, and, and blue Crocs. I'm like, yo, there's no way 
I'm gonna die with Crocs on. I need you to come here and tell me if I'm hit. Now, I know some people's probably thinking, if he, you got hit, you would know. Like, it's a whole gunshot. You should know. No, I, I have family that's been shot in the leg, you know. Not to brag, but he kept running or whatnot. And then he said, you know, his his ankles, his toes felt wet. And then when we looked down, he seen there was blood on his, like, ankles and his toes so he didn't know immediately so i'm thinking i'm gonna have one of those experiences i'm just like oh my god like and she didn't even want to come next to me because she was so scared i don't blame her i was mad at the moment but she doesn't come next to me she's like yo turk you're not shot i'm like i'm wearing a black tee and you're like four houses away from me like i need you to come here and mind you i'm scared like I'm talking to her like she's my child and I'm, I'm saying it with an attitude, but that's just because I was scared. I'm f feeling around and I'm just like, oh my God, like it's my boy's birthday. I just posted a, a like on my story about him. Like I'm thinking it's a regular morning. We got a link later, have brunch and do all this cool stuff. And now I'm in the middle of like, I just lo like almost lost my life. You know, and I, I was just so shook. So, you know, before I could even call police, I hear the sirens. They're coming immediately and they, and they got there fast. Like they got there really fast. They're asking me what happened. And this is the first time I finally step out the car and I see the bullet holes. So one hit the passenger, um, the passenger side, but the windshield. The first one must have hit my trunk. The last bullet hit right here on my, the dash. I mean, not the dash, but the door right here on a hard part. And it was an inch away and like a half an inch, I want to say, from just breaking through the window and hitting me. That would have been my chest. It literally got stuck in the door because it hit the hard part. If it was an inch up, a half inch up, it would have just shattered the window and pierced me. Now, I don't know who would be after me and why. I don't think I was targeted. It could have been mistaken identity. I don't know what it is. And, and it's crazy that I'm telling you this story from my car after dealing with that type of experience. And this is like, it's not that I was afraid, I was just shocked more than anything. Like I was surprised. I was very surprised and um, this is like me trying to get over my fear. For, not my fear, but like trying to get over that hump in my life because it did happen a few months ago and I don't know, it's, everybody told me to get therapy and you know, these are, this is something I try to thug out myself. And um, it's very unfortunate it happened as a black man. Like I don't bother nobody. I try to take care of my people, try to take care of my daughter as best as I can. And I could have imagined like her losing me to, to gun violence, especially when I'm not out here like that. I do have a pass, but it's not a violent pass, you know? So <sighs> the, the police came, I'm still kind of shook up. Um, I had to take my car to the police station and they took the bullets out. They they did an investigation. They asked me a few questions or whatnot. And there's no answers I could really give them because like, I really don't know. And I still don't know to this day, but it was definitely a wake up call. Do not sit in your car and do anything. I know I'm doing this now, but do what I say, not as I do. And, um, it was just a traumatizing experience and I'm not gonna lie for days after especially the first month after it happened I had like the biggest case of PTSD like I remember the the night of I checked into a hotel in like East Bumfuck I, w I checked into a hotel and in the morning somebody was checking out before me and you know the hotels like the doors slam when you leave. So I'm like, I'm not in deep sleep because I can't sleep deep. And a door slams or whatnot. And literally, it, like, 
in my sleep, I just seen a white flash and it scared the dog shit out of me and I couldn't go to sleep. Like I was dealing with a lot. It, it was just a bad experience for me. And um, yeah. And a lot of people, you know, they thought it was like the girl I was with. Maybe she was mad, but I don't think she would go that far as like trying to get me killed. Um, it's very traumatizing. And um, I have some raw footage for you guys to see if you're interested in that. Um, this conversation is making me feel uncomfortable right now. So I'm going to stop short because I'm I'm really not feeling it as much as I, I thought I would so I'm gonna leave you guys with some raw footage uh, maybe I could pick up this story at another time uh, but for the most part you guys have the whole thing and uh yeah it's my story man since then you know I've been trying to get my uh license to carry and uh if you don't got it Please get it and defend yourself at all costs and your family. I'm Turk and uh, I gotta go. Thank you for watching and uh, let me know what you think. I put the camera back on. Again, this is not an edit. I, I did stop the video, but uh, I just want to add like, you know, my daughter needs me. The people in my life needs me. I feel like in a lot of ways, in a lot of circles that I'm in, I really hold shit together. Whether I, I, I'm the best boyfriend or not, whether I'm the best dad or not, whether I'm the best athlete or not, like I'm a great person and I really like I'm valuable to the people that know me. And I'm not saying that to brag, but I am. And I feel like a lot of stuff, I'm not saying people will, because my circles, they, they will pick up the slack. They, they're, they're no bums, but I feel like like they would lose something big. Like a lot of things would fall apart if I wasn't here. And um, even people who hate me, it's just like, if I'm gone, who are you going to hate? Who are you going to blame for like y your mishandling? So, you, you know? So, yeah, that's that's how I feel. I know my my grandparents for sure would be like devastated. It's, anybody's family would be devastated if their their grandson, their son, their brother, their father was shot and killed, especially for no reason. And you can't think of a reason. And nor did the police find anybody responsible for it. But. The place that I did get shot at had a lot of things happening um, as far as like violence in that neighborhood. So I don't know. Look, I would love to hear everybody's stories, right? Please do not inbox me. Like, if I don't know you, go ahead, inbox me. But if I know you, I would love to, to know your experiences and what you think on this video, in the comments. I need you guys to comment. I wasn't gonna talk about this because I don't get enough engagement. And I just didn't wanna put myself out there just to be put myself out there. So I'm putting myself out there. I'm being very vulnerable with you guys. So I need you to show me like you appreciate the vulnerability by leaving a comment of what you think um maybe you've been through this before or you know somebody who's been through this but i would love it i would love it if you left that in the comments like if there's one video that you guys can support share comment on i don't even care if you like it or not i would like it if you did but if you didn't it's fine but this is a video i I want your feedback. I need your feedback because at this point, like in life, don't want to make this all depressing, but you know, like I'm alone, right? I'm alone. Um, 
you would think after an experience like that, like people will bring you closer. Like, yo, your life could end just like that. I woke up posting on Instagram thinking I'm going to have brunch with my friends on the weekend and link up with my boy later, like birthday boy shots on me. I got you to, to being in that hell of a situation. Like I could have been taken just like that. I had plans for later, like, <laughs> and it could just be taken just like that because of whatever. Okay. That's the whole story. I did have to do the interview over again. I did get the job. I'm coaching the high school flag football team as an assistant coach, but it's still a good job to have. I love being around football um, and and football is my life. Like that's my first love right there, you know? So it'll always be with me. I thank you guys for watching this video. I am going to leave the raw footage of things that happen. I hope you guys can appreciate it. And um, that's all. I appreciate you guys. And uh, please show me some love. Thank you. I'm Turk. This shit's wild, bro. They tried it, bro. Oh. It's good, man. Hey. This is wild, bro. This is wild. I don't got problems with nobody like that. They try to get me while I'm on a Zoom call for a job. Oh, this is wild. That's good, bro. Look at this, bro. It's my shit. If I wasn't sitting back in that seat, I'm gone. Easy. He fired three shots at me, and then the gun jammed, it looked like. I was just chilling in my car, bro. I'm on a I was on a Zoom call with these white people for for a job coaching high school football and I just get shot at. I got shot at. While I'm on a Zoom call, the lady's like, "Oh my god, are you okay?" I'm sitting there asleep like, "Yo, did I just get shot at?" This is wild. Three shots, man. Three shots, man. They just... That's wild. Oh, man. I was in High Park, man. Chilling in High Park. Just sleep. On my Zoom call for a job. Made it with my interview. Get shot at. Now, I heard three shots. And I'm like, okay. Like, I'm just in the neighborhood. 
And then my window falls on my lap. I'm like, oh shit, that was for me. Well, I missed everything. Cause look at, see this hole. That would have been one. Yep. But see how this one is? Yeah. I can't see an exit. Lucky know, motherfucker, man. <sighs> Someone shot at me, Shakir. Someone shot at me. Um, there was no damage on the windshield. The only damage was the front seat and then this right here. Other than that, there was no damage to the windshield. So this one could have been an afterthought. See, like it could have come in this way. Just look. See how it's, it's aimed? So I'm wondering if that's how the third one came. It's slipped. Just chilling. I was on an interview. I don't bother nobody. Yay, Kyle. I said the same thing. It got to be mistaken identity. There's no way they're coming for me. There's no way. That's wild. I was sitting up in my seat, man. Oh, man. Yeah. God got me. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. This is wild, yo. Damn. I'm good. Out of a car for a little while. Damn. What the fuck I do? Uh, nah. Just in the back, but these ain't real tents. These are just like... But the front? Nah, I don't have nothing. Oh, man. This is wild. This is wild. Why they come for me? Luckily, I wasn't hit, man. Shook me up, but I wasn't hit. Three shots as I'm sitting up in my seat, adjusting like the volume on my Zoom call. I must look like somebody, man. And I'm not wearing anything like a hoodie or anything like that. Like, you can see who I am from a distance, bro. Coming for the wrong one. This shit's crazy. God is good. That's wild, yo. Know? Let me show you. So just like the passenger, I'm sorry, the driver's side window. Over here too. All right, thank you. Whew. I'm wondering if it if it flipped it and then you like open it. Yeah, this is a little tricky to find. We end up kind of finding we're in the front of the lawn. That's what I'm thinking. We wouldn't know until we open the door up. Exactly. They just shooting and shoot, man. I ain't got no problems with nobody. Damn, it's my nigga's birthday. I'm just talking about it. Ah, I'm fucked up. I gotta take my shit though. And that's all old days, right? Yeah, that's old. Photograph. This shit is wild.
<laughs> it's time to get out of Boston for real, for real. <laughs> I was near Clary, uh, kind of close to uh, High Park High, or what used to be High Park High. Whew. It's time to get out of Boston, man. They tried it. They tried it. And mind you, I don't got no problems with nobody. Not like that. I'm getting the petty arguments, but damn. Shoot at me. That's nuts, dog. It's wild. <laughs> this shit is wild. Yeah, the thing is, I wasn't just chilling in my car, bro. I had a Zoom call for a job coaching football. As soon as I got on a Zoom call, like three shots going through my window. Looking for the bullet is stuck in the door. Oh man. Should be good. Cold but good. That's wild. Unbelievable, bro. Whoever's coming in now, I'll fill y'all in, but. Cooling in my car, man. Taking a Zoom call for a job. I get shot on the Zoom call. Shot at, at least. I'm shocked I wasn't touched. It's crazy. So, yeah. I gotta go. I, what's wrong? Had to hit me now, I'm sipping on the deuce deuce. I just wanted to get big on YouTube. Mm -hmm. You still here? Well, while you're here, go ahead and click that like button. And the subscribe button. Okay, the notification bell too. Leave a comment saying you did so. Lastly, Click the video on the right for more cool content. It's Turk time.